Welcome owners. Regular season is now in the books. But before we move on to the playoffs, let's take a look back at week 14. We're going to start with the game of the week as usual. The game of the week, Pitons versus Super Simon. A whole lot riding on this. It went down to less than five minutes left in the Monday night game. Uh, you couldn't ask for more excitement, but you could have asked for a Pitons win if you were a Clash City Rocker owner. Uh, so, Super Simon ends up pulling it out, 107 to 105. For Super Simon, only three players in double digits, led by Drew Brees' 27, excuse me, led by the Jaguar defense with 35 points, uh, including a defensive or a special team touchdown that was adjusted uh, overnight from um, Sunday night to Monday night. <clears throat> Say hi. Hi. Uh, which took him from 29 to 35 points, also cutting uh, cutting into the Piton lead going into Monday night. Uh, LaShawn McCoy was the other person in double digits for Super Simon, and they had 18. Come on, are you going to go or are you going to stay? I'm staying. All right, we'll leave my remote control at all. Six in double digits for the Pitons, led by Brandon Jacobs 24 on Sunday night. The Sunday night game were also exciting in this uh, as the Pitons came from way down to take the lead. Uh, 19 from the Jets defense, 14 from Wes Welker. I have a new cameraman. He's going to get fired. Uh, anyway, so what was riding on that? Everything was riding on that. Both these teams end up at 8-6 and six now. Because of the tiebreaker, Super Simon ends up winning the Quagmire division. The Clash City Rockers won their matchup against Loose Cannons, 98-82. They also end the season in the Quagmire at 8-6. and six. So they unfortunately lose, or fortunately if you're a Piton, uh, they lose the... Tiebreaker to the Pitons. The Pitons become the wild card. Super Simon, as mentioned, becomes the Quagmire Divisional Champ. Uh, in that Clash City Rocker matchup, five in double digits for the Rockers, led by Hakeem Nix, 22. Roethlisberger chipping in 21 way back on uh, Thursday night. Uh, three players in double digits for the Loose Cannons. Two of them had 21 points. Uh, Ryan Grant, who hadn't had uh, a double-digit game, never mind a 100-yard game, never mind a touchdown in the entire year, totally goes off in this one uh, with Starks out. Uh, 85 rushing yards, 13 receiving yards, two touchdowns, including a 47-yarder. Uh, the Packers defense, uh, 21. Uh, so 42 points for uh, the Loose Cannons uh, out of their 82 to more than half. I'm good at math. Uh, from their two Packers. Um, all right, moving on. High score of the week, highest scoring game of the week, with was this shootout. Cast with guns, pilot lights. Cast with guns wins 143 to 132. Cats put five in double digits, led by Matt Ryan's 38, his best game of the year. Rob Gronkowski 34, his best game of the year. Lions defense 28, uh, smoking for the cast with guns. Uh, Pilot Lights, uh, they put uh, seven in the double digits, led by uh, Sean Green's uh, 25. Larry Fitzgerald 22, could quite possibly be his best game of the year. Uh, but they pull up a little bit short. So, cast with guns moves to 8-6. and six. Pilot Lights finish at 7-7. Seven and seven. Unfortunately for the Cats... Fortunately, again, for the Pitons, they hold the, deep, the tiebreaker against Cats. And again, as I mentioned, take the wild card. Uh, Ciro continues the roll. 141 win over Big Daddy's 96. Ciro already had the Bryan division wrapped up. Uh, but certainly put a little bit of icing on the cake. He put 1, 2, 3, 6, 7 players in double digits. He was led by uh, Colston's 24 points on 105 receiving yards and two touchdowns. Uh, quite possibly his best game of the year. Uh, Laurent Robinson and Aaron Rodgers each uh, scored 21 points. Uh, maybe Aaron Rodgers only played one quarter in that game. I'm not really sure what happened there. 
Uh, 96 for Big Daddy. Uh, now, again, Big Daddy uh, did start today with an illegal lineup. Uh, I have sent this out in a text, in a, in a message. Uh, but essentially, he just had that one uh, running back that was logged in as a, uh, as a flex. Um, so we went ahead. We did not have to make any player adjustments. We just made the positional adjustment, decided that that was the right thing to do. Um, Big Daddy 96 led by uh, Antonio Brown's 27 points. Um, let's see what else we got here. The Dogs uh, had previously been on quite the roll. Lose to Big Shirley's Poonanny, who was and continues to be on a roll. Big Shirley 112, Chili Dogs 104. Big Shirley has Tom Brady's 32 lead the way. Not to be outdone, the Chili Dogs have Tony Romo's 38 to lead the way. Uh, now, again, Chili Dogs and Sheboygan Handbangers, which we'll get into next, uh, both lost. So Chili Dog remains the Stewie Divisional Champion at 7-7, seven seven, moving on to the playoffs. Um, Headbangers uh, did finish at 6-8, uh, uh, so they were one game behind. There was no tiebreakers needed. Mastakilla scores 137. The Sheboygan Headbangers 105 in that game. Six in double digits for Mastakilla, led by Maurice Jones Drew, 37 points. Uh, Eli led the way for the Sheboygan Headbangers uh, with 32. Uh, I think that covers all of the games. So, getting into the matchups for next week. In the tidy bowl bracket, we have the number one seed in the tidy bowl bracket. Maybe, maybe not. Number one seed, Master Killer versus Big Daddy. The number two seed, Sheboygan Headbangers versus Big Shirley's Poonanny. No one wants to play Big Shirley right now. In the mediocre bracket, the number one seed. 8-6, Clash City Rockers take on Loose Cannons. Number 2 seed, Cats with Guns take on Pilot Lights. In case you hadn't already noticed, both those games rematches of Week 14. How about that? I don't think that's ever happened. And in the championship bracket, we have Leslie Chow, the number 1 seed in the league, taking on the Petons, the wild card, going up against Super Simon, the number two seed, uh, and the Chili Dogs number three seed uh, in our week one, week 15, week one of the playoffs. Uh, pick them real quick. We had a win by the closest of margins. Pitons win that one. Uh, Pitons had 55 points. They finish up with 55 points uh, for that win. Maybe. Pitons, 55. Leslie Chow, 54. Classy Rockers come in a distant third with 49 uh, to wrap up the Pick'em. Uh, so, regular season in the books. Pick'em in the books. Survivor in the books for a long, long time. All that's left is the playoffs. Uh, so, keep those lineups rolling. It's Thursday. We got Thursday football. And I believe we got Saturday football uh, this week. So, uh, don't miss that. And uh, this is the shortest movie in a long time so uh you guys have a great weekend and uh we'll catch up with you after week one